Hello guys and welcome back to another Imcrater tutorial. Today we're going to make a wind turbine for our variable energy and we're actually going to need a mod to do that as a dependency mod. Uh, this mod is called Pixel Var, which I've created myself. If you go to the GitHub URL up above here, then you can you'll end up on this page if you click on download for the version that you want and it'll bring you to a page where you can either download the client which is for the actual mod or you can develop get the development build which is the one that you're going to need for am creator once you've downloaded this uh save that to your desktop or somewhere that you can easily access and then you want to go into am creator open your workspace folder and then what you want to do is you want to navigate to your run folder and then in mods, you want to put this particular jar. Now, after you've done that, what you need to do is you need to go to workspace and then workspace settings and then an external API. And then you need to put the additional required mods and just put the pixel var all lowercase in the list of your required mods for your mod. And this will allow uh, the mod to basically use the wind physics and stuff that I've basically set up with a pixel var so it's cross mod compatible and it works with every mod. All right, so once we have done that, we need to create four different types of blocks, but before we do that, we need to actually import the textures. Now, I have the textures all set up and I will provide them. I'm just going to use them for the ver my actual variable energy mod that I'm working on. So uh, if you want to change the texture a little bit, like recolor it or whatever, that's fine too. Uh, there are uh, four different front textures and four different back textures as well, as well as an output uh, and, or yeah, an output texture as well as side textures. So once you have those all imported, now before I cover anything else, for the animation speed, uh, what you want to do is you want to go and create an animated texture for the strip types and then import strip and then you want to select the strip and uh, if we navigate to my desktop I have a unnamed folder and if we just grab the second one then I'll basically demonstrate the speed that I've controlled for the animation so this is the default to <laughs> Alright, so we're in game now, and I just wanted to quickly show the mechanics of the wind turbine. So right now it's facing, what direction is it facing? It is facing, I believe, north. Okay, so it's not facing north, it is facing, yeah, it's facing north. So the block is facing north, and there's a little bit of wind right now. And what what's basically going on is it's using pixel var to determine if there is a wind uh, speed and the direction of the wind. And then what we're doing is we're basically passing it over down into these particular pipes down here. So if we basically go and place these up like that, then we can see that they're actually working. And just to confirm that, I will place these up here and these will be set to zero. So you can see that there's actually power going through this. Um, now, every so often the direction and wind speed will update. So uh, the wind direction might turn a different direction. So it might be facing this way in a next tick or uh, the next time it updates. So having multiple direction wind turbines would definitely help. And as you can see, the texture are basically created the same. It's just rotated, so they're basically moving the same the same direction as it needs to. So outside of that, uh, the only other thing that we need to look at is the uh, actual mechanics of it all. And we don't actually have any settings for the block setup, so we're going to create that today as well. So let's head into Emperor and I'll show you the gist of how it all works. So once you've done that, you need your textures imported. You can actually go into 
your element mod elements now and create your blocks. So you're going to need four different types of blocks. You're going to need a regular wind turbine, which is the off state. You're going to need a slow model, a medium model, and a fast model. So after you've done that, uh, let's quickly go over the general settings for them all. So we need to assign our front texture and our back texture. Uh, this is the default for the front and back are three. So back number three, back or front number three, and then we want to assign, assign our side textures for our tops and sides for our right and left. Our output is at the bottom, so we want to enable our output this direction. Next, we want to enable y-axis rotation for north, west, south, and east. And we don't need any other properties on this page. After which, you want to assign all your general properties for this particular block. I have set it up so it's more similar to iron than anything else. So basically, the materials iron is under the creative tab for redstone. The sound on step is uh, metal. I've set it so you can basically be broken with a, I believe, a wood tool. And the hardness and resistance is uh, five and six. After which you can go to advanced properties. You need to set the tick rate to one and then set your map color to the way that you want to best represent the item itself. So in my case, I wanted it to be kind of a whitey color. So it's, uh, I set it to iron. And then tile entity, you need to enable this. So it basically, we can use MPT variables and we'll be using a lot of that in a couple minutes. So you basically don't need to enable a GUI. You can actually disable the size of the inventory. You set this to zero and disable these two blocks. Uh, we're not using energy or fluid storage, so we can move on. We are using two different triggers and we actually need a third one that we'll be adding today. And we'll cover that in just a second. Generation, we don't have any settings here. So let's quickly take a look at uh, the basic one, basic settings for the slow, which is basically the exact same settings as the medium and fast. So same thing goes, we're just assigning our textures, our front and back. Uh, for slow, it's number two. And then what I've done is same rotation and properties. I've basically disabled it for, from the creative inventory, so it can't be uh, easily gotten. And then the creative pick item and the custom drop is set to our off wind turbine. So it will basically drop the off version of it. And same properties all across the board otherwise. Uh, same tick rate and same map color. And then we've basically done the same settings for our uh, MBT tile entity settings. So we've disabled the inventory, disabled these blocks here, haven't assigned an inventory, and we've enabled this box up there. So again, no uh, energy or fluid storage for this particular block for forge. And our triggers are here uh, for our update tick. Now it's using a separate update tick because it needs to push power from one um, at different speeds. So we're going to be using basically the same procedure just with uh, different energy um, generation settings. And then we have the same um, when block added procedure as our default one and generation is disabled. Now before I go any further, uh, there is something that we do need. All right, so let's start with the regular wind turbine and we will add our script that we need to basically set up the, um, when we right click on it with our tools. So I have that all set up, ready to go. We can actually use the same script from our wire. So when we right click on it and we can just basically display the energy stored, energy capacity under that one for our tool here. So it's basically the same exact um, procedure as the, the cables that we've created a couple episodes ago. So once we've done that, just save it and we will assign that to the other blocks when we get to that point. Now the other thing that we have is when the block is added. So 
you can set the energy capacity and send limit to the way you want, you basically want it energy storage should be set to zero and then your output should be on the side that is basically outputting in our case it's downwards Alright, so the only other procedure that we basically need to cover is the update tick. So we'll start with this one, which is the default one. So there is no generation property for the energy on this particular block here. Uh, there are a few different settings. Now this is where we're basically assigning the script from our block from Pixelvar basically getting the wind speed from that block and to do that we can get NBT variables from very specific locations just using numbers so in our case I've just assigned the numbers for the location where the pixel var block is located and then what we're doing is we're basically assigning that to a local um, local variable for the block which is wind speed wind direction and so on so after we've done that we can basically test for our condition if uh, if there is particular error in front of the block and behind the block so I believe it tests for four blocks in front and four blocks behind just to make sure that there is room to basically quote unquote accept the error into the um, the actual wind turbine. So it basically tests if there's room that air can go through. Uh, this is technically optional, but it does it is required to basically run this script down here. So it's if you remove this, then it will not work. But uh, it it isn't really necessarily to have. Uh, you can probably configure it a little bit differently if you don't want to have this particular feature. So basically, what we're doing here is we're just testing for the wind direction in front of or front or back and the back direction of the wind turbine and if there is um, air then what we want to do is we want to um, basically set this to false and then if it is then what we want to do is set this to true so after which uh, we're going to basically do that for the east direction and then it's going to test if the is enough room and if there is enough room then what we're going to do is we're going or not enough room then what we're going to do is we're going to set this to our off state so our off state for our wind turbine so the first model that we created and if it is if there is enough room for the generation to basically generate error then what we're going to do is run the else statement down below which basically tests for the direction of the uh, wind turbine and then it has some extra properties we've basically doing now is we're going to test for the direction of the block that it's currently facing so our block of the wind turbine if it's facing north then it will basically run this script here if it's south and then it will do that one east and west so based on the direction the only difference for what we're basically testing after that is if the wind direction is the same direction as the, the way the block is facing so if the block is facing uh, north and the wind direction is coming from the north then what we want to do is we want to test for the wind speed and if the wind speed is basically zero or if the direction is not the same then we want to basically disable the wind turbine and put it in its off state so these are the off state i've also left comments in these particular parts so it's easy for you guys to basically know what wind turbine to put in so our fast state is this one right here our medium state and our slow state so that will have to be updated for every one of these blocks so there's also the ones under east and west as well now below that uh, what we have is our actual energy uh, sending mechanics I've covered how this basically works in uh, previous video for the cables and stuff like that is basically the exact same script so definitely go over and watch the cable 
where I explain what this script basically does. Now, the only difference between this script and the other script is there is a little section right here which basically has the um, generation properties for the medium, slow, and fast uh, wind turbines. So let's go take a look at those particular s procedures now. We are currently at the triggers of the slow speed one and the only difference that is between this pr procedure here is we're running our basically our generation script which we're basically testing if the energy stored is less than energy um, or energy capacity plus two and then what we're doing is we're basically setting the energy stored to get energy stored plus two. So we're basically setting it to the, the uh, increased by two. If this is not true, if it's actually less than that, then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just get our energy stored and set our energy capacity to full. And what that will do is it'll basically allow us to um, fill our entire capacity up. So, that's basically all that's going on. The same thing that you're also going to need to set your actual turbines per procedure for this. Now the slow has its own because the generation properties here are actually a little bit different. So we need to basically run this a little bit differently. So this uh, is the slow number, the medium is four and the um, fast I believe is eight. So that's the only difference in the entire procedure. Again, I'll make sure to provide all the um, procedures for the workspace as well as all the textures and stuff that we've gone through so far in the project. So you can download that from GitHub. And again, um, if you're new to my channel, it, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.